Instead of making a boring game about the dead-end fast food job lifestyle, McDonald's wanted to cash in on the video game craze of the early 90s with a cheap game. The result is a by-the-numbers, yet pretty colorful platforming adventure featuring Ronald McDonald. It's McDonald's Treasureland Adventure on the Sega Genesis from 1993. McDonald's Treasureland Adventure comes to us from the same company that developed Gunstar Heroes, Treasure, and the objective is to help Ronald find the pieces of a treasure map so we can go on a treasure hunt. Now that is a lot of treasure, but I have one question. Why does Ronald need any more money? Doesn't he have enough? Is his cheap and crappy hamburger empire not rolling in as much as he'd want? So Ronald is just this, this greedy, greedy clown. Because Ronald is so damn greedy, his health is represented in jewels, which can be regained several different ways. The clown can pick up a jewel from a fallen enemy, find one laying around on a jewel panel, or by collecting rings. Two gold rings or three silver rings automatically restore one jewel. Then there's also the option to buy stuff from little shops you find every so often, where you can buy more health, extra lives, and other power-ups. Wait a second. I have few gold ones? Does that mean I don't have enough gold? McDonald's Treasureland Adventure suffered from some pretty bad translations, and it kind of shows. Platforming for this game isn't terrible, it doesn't suffer from those broken mechanics you see in some other crappy cash-in games, and it's actually very challenging, though very standard paint-by-the-numbers style. Some things are just plain scary. This tree, for example, is just creepy. Wispy Woods would probably wet his roots if this guy grew in his forest. And then there's the ballerina section. Yes, this is toward the end of the second level where we've just been on a train. Now there's ballerinas and you have to jump on their heads who are dancing on fast moving train tracks. And just listen to this music. I had to think, but that's Swan Lake in the background, a famous piece, yes. But you know where else it's been used? The Dracula movie with Bella Lugosi. It's just absurd. This part just, it freaked me out a little bit. Ronald's magical, possibly drug-induced world features bright colors and strange enemies and really does pop out as a decent looking game. It plays okay, looks okay, and actually sounds really good. But why couldn't they make a game where Ronald beats the snot out of Colonel Sanders or the Burger King? You know, why doesn't... Why doesn't Ronald smack Long John Silver upside the head with his own deep-fried fish? Because look at some of these enemies, or even this setting. What about this screams McDonald's? If you answered absolutely nothing, you're absolutely right. The McDonald's imaging is limited to a very few items and a few characters. So if Treasure Land Adventure is actually an advertisement for McDonald's, it fails in almost every regard. It might be different if Ronald was on a quest to get two all-beef patties, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions, all in a sesame seed bun, but instead he's just trying to get some hidden treasure. How cliche. Is it a terrible game? No, but it's not a fantastic game either. This is a cash-in title because everyone in the early 90s wanted in on the video game craze. This cookie-cutter platformer didn't come in anyone's Happy Meal, and I'm not sure if this game is even worth the price of a number two with a small Diet Coke. And I really want that game I talked about earlier, just Ronald McDonald, Colonel Sanders, just fighting to the death Mortal Kombat style. Now that would be fun.